Hello, hello. We're here, me and Ben. Hello. Hello, Ben. And we're here to do the uh, couple of things. Number one, we have the new, not shiny yet, but it will be once we open it, Google Home. Right there it says Google. You can see it's from Google Inc. directly. Not a very nice looking box, but hopefully the inside will be cool. So we're going to do the official unboxing with Ben here. And number two is we've got the old uh, election going today. So we have, let's see what we got right now. Right now we got Mr. Trump at 121 electoral votes and Hillary Clinton at 97 at this point. Like Trump has a pretty good lead, but it's too early to tell. Too early to tell, yeah, it's way too early. There was a theory that And then, hold on, Bench. And then we got Senators, 40 Democrats, 37 Republicans. Again, too early to tell anything from there. And then we got House. At the Republicans 88, Democrats, <clears throat> excuse me, 54, and the governors are not, not almost nothing in yet. So just North Dakota is Republican, and Delaware is is uh, Democrat. And pretty soon we'll be doing Washington, Oregon, Utah, and the rest of the states. Yep. We'll see so, how so we'll see how things are going as we do. So here is Trump 122, Hillary 97. All right. So let's Ben. You have a couple of words to say before we start here. Of this for a minute? Um, no, I'm just I'm really hoping this Google Home thing is going to be good. We got Alexa recently, the new Amazon Alexa. Here we go. And official crappy knife goes in. Oh yeah. Um, we got Amazon Alexa recently, and it's very good. So I'm hoping Google Home is going to be just as good. Highly recommended. Well, um, we'll see. It's recommended, but first we got to cut the strings. Okay, so we put the knife away so nobody gets hurt. And we open the box. And the box looks like this. Right there. And see, there's a bunch of stuff in there. So we've got there's a lot of setup. We've got a you know, packaging yeah. unit there. And then for those who don't have enough, we have some more packaging. There's exactly. Some one and then before you wait for another one to come out, there is no more. So I'm going to take the box out itself, like that. And we're going to throw this over there somewhere and so this is what it looks like this is the box see it says home for those who uh, can read english or email yeah depending on how you want to look at it and then we have this thing here that says whatever it says there yeah so i'm sure somebody's gonna pause the video watch it uh it says far field voice recognition to support the hands for use high excursion speaker whatever that means Delivers clear highs and a rich bass for hi fi sound. It says 2.4 or 5 gigahertz Wi Fi support for high performance streaming. Uh, Chromecast built in allows uh, creating, no, casting, I'm sorry, from um, compatible audio apps to Google Home, which is slick. And simple setup with the Google Home app on iOS and Android. My phone's downstairs, we'll have to get that probably. Uh, Multi room playback to sync. Across music, uh, no, to sync music across speakers that have Chromecast built in, blah, blah, blah. Check out services, and they have a bunch of these logos and all that. And then here it says Google Home is powered by Google Assistant. Ask it questions, tell it to do things. It's your Google, always ready to help. Uh, be the DJ, play and control music from your favorite services. Know it all, tap into the power of Google to get real time answers and your questions. Stay ahead of the day, set alarms, add time items to your shopping list. I think that uses the actual Google Keep for that. Learn about your commute and more. And then it says outsmart your smartphone. Link compatible smartphone products to turn off lights or enjoy entertainment on your TV. How cool is that? And, okay. and it's got a little assistant thingy here. Uh, and it shows us how can I help? Just start with OK Google, and you can say things like play music by um, James Brown, set a 15 minute timer for pizza, what's nice to meet you in Korean, so you can do translations. Who was the US president that won the election today? My guess is probably. Well, right now, it looks like it's right Trump. Right now, it will say Trump if we ask it. But yeah, because no, Trump's leading 123 to 97. 97 so far. OK. Uh, turn up the thermostat, and is my flight on time? You can ask it if your flight is on time as the as the airplane on its way down crashing violently. Exactly. Something like that. Anyway, so that's basically the box. Okay, so that's the size of it. You know, about the size of my head. Like that. 
And so then, this is what the top looks like. You got a colorful little G in there. And so they have these little strips here. I guess you, you have to pull the strip off. So I'll we'll do that. Take the tape off here, and then tape off on the other side. Okay. And then I'm assuming the, the top part is going to come off. Just like that. And it does, that. like that. Ta -da! And then we have something that looks like a large box for a watch. A luxury watch. So we carefully plop it open, and there is the unit there right she, there. There we go. There she is. You see this is? This is the unit. All right. So, so we carefully we take it out. And it's a little guy. You see, it's like hatching an egg. This is what well, the guy looks it like. It never hatch. It's got some lights at the top, which you can't see it, but once we crank it up, you should be able to. It's got a um, it's not metal. metallic. No, no, no. It, I think this is oh, the this, this is the uh, oh yeah material it has like a material kind of carpet like texture material yeah material they have some little and now they understand that they have now for twenty bucks you can get, buy different bottoms different. Um, these parts here, uh, and they're 20 bucks a pop, and you can get them right now. I think you have them available. So we open this up right here. I don't think this is just a, just a holder. And then we've got, if you look inside there, it's got this getting started thing. Do you have to get so, like an app and plug it in and everything so like it's a license? Pull this. So we got, so it's got some cards about getting started. So I'll give it to Ben to check out. He's my main supervisor my IT, the in the there. system. And it says it started with OK Google, so this is assistant stuff. And then over here it says design to match your home. So these are the different colors, bottoms you can get for it. Some of them are plastic, I mean, not plastic, but metal, some of them are material. Uh, and so that's that. And then down here, you can see it's got finally, if you can see that, it's got the power supply in there. So we get the power supply out. All right, so do you like a, yes, that's exactly what you need. Pug. Plug the power cable into Google Home. That's that. Okay, so you're looking at get started thing? Yep. Okay, so we're going to put this box back for right now since we don't need it anymore. This is an unboxing and a help start thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it back and we'll put it on the side here with all the other junk. And we're going to open this. The way this thing is, it's got this little, little flap. flap uh, Made out of rubber, it looks like, which is nice and convenient. convenient yeah. And so you can, and the plug itself, you can see it's a little bit on a hefty side, not a dinky thing. And the, the cable itself is probably what? What did you say, Bench? Um, four feet or something? Ish. Something like that. So it's, it's you know, it's not incredibly long, but it's, you know, healthy good enough mouth, good mouth. to do that. And then we're going to plug this in. Plug it. Where can we plug? It's a good question. Um, I have it right, right there. Let me. No. I'm gonna disappear for a second, Fox. <laughs> plug it in. But that's the first thing it says to do, Ben. Um. Yeah. Right there. Num step number one: plug power cable into Google Home. And the other side is like for more info stuff. All right, so, folks. I merged back, and let's see what's going on here. We've got. Um, so, so the the, the, the so plug see if you look, it's somewhere in the bottom area. If yeah. you, all right, so let me show that to people. You do that while I'm showing. So for those who are a little dense and can't figure out where the hole is, exactly, there's only one. That's where it is. So it's right there on the bottom. So plug it in, and and so the way it works is basically you have the cable going, and if you just simply plop it in there, that's not how it's supposed to work. So what you want to do is you want to put it. Like this, so it actually goes in, and the cable comes out on the side, because otherwise it's not going to stay. And that's the only way. Then you push it in, and it goes all the way in, so it sticks like that. So that's supposed to look just like that, where it's kind of plugged in, and you can see it's flush with the bottom that way. Okay, so it's only one way it can go. Then the little dealies come on at the top there, and there's a little light that comes on, as you can see right here, the little light on the front. So we shall see what develops. Let me get a little pedestal step. for this thing. Oh, nice. The next step is welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. How can I put it? So let me get my vitamins here. Put it like that. No, I just still can't see it. I'll just hold it in my hand. All right, this is the download. So what we're going to need to do is I need to go downstairs and get my phone. 
so Ben will enter 10. In the meantime, Ben, you can tell him what the current results right. are. Is it okay if I screencast the results? Yeah. Current yeah. Election. yeah. Results. So people will stop. All right, I'm taking over for a bit, people. As soon as I find the screencast, there it is. Uh, screen one, please. There we go. Okay. So as soon as it works, there we go. All right. So we see right now that uh, Hillary has been Hillary Clinton has been sitting at right around under a hundred, but Trump's been sitting at a good one twenty nine. So it's too early to tell considering they haven't even reached the half point yet. But um. Yeah, Trump's had a fairly steady lead this entire time, but I think that they're actually starting with the right wing states. Again, I'm not sure about this, but like that's that's just my guess. Because you know, considering all the polls and stuff, you'd think it'd be more even. Now, if you move down to the Senate, it's getting really close right about now. I mean, the Democrats only need nine more uh, nine more senators on their side. But then again, the Republicans are getting fairly close as well. Only eleven necessary left, so it could go either way. Um, but meanwhile, in the U.S. House, the House of Representatives, or House of Congress, there it's not even it's not even close to them. Like, I mean, the elect the actual presidential election, and the House, not even close. Like, even the Republicans who are currently leading the Democrats with um, with over twenty point with over twenty members, still need one hundred twenty four more. So it's it, it it's up for grabs totally, pretty much totally. in everything. All right. So anyway, so your mother just smiled and said that he's winning. So yeah, she she's watching TV. So apparently they're showing the same stuff here. Awesome. Way awesome. too early to tell, but of course. But he's still winning. Right? So far, he's winning. Yeah, yeah, so far. And All right. Should I so, stop? so yeah, stop this. Yeah, we'll do it. Uh, d wait, real quick. Don't worry, people. We're gonna do a full election coverage after this. <laughs> no, it's okay. No, we're gonna so, go over everything. So now we've got we got the phone, the old LG G3. We got the Google Home app, and I'm gonna crank it up. And then what's the next thing, man? The next thing. Plug power adapter into wall socket. Yeah, we got which that. Which you did. Download and run the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. And got that's it. it. Uh, if people don't trust me, which I don't know, maybe that you don't. No, no, it's not that. There it is. That's all you got. It just it says devices. What do I need to do next? Uh, oh, here we go. And so oh. I click on devices in the, in the app. I don't know if you can see this or not. Yeah, so there is a Google. You just get the Google. So what used to be Google Cast is now called Google Home. The app, it's the same app, yeah. uh, and so they rebranded it. So if you just, you know, download the upgrade, if you downloaded it for Cast, you will have it as Google Home. If you didn't, just download Google Home. And so right now, it shows that after I click on devices in the pull-down menu, it shows the, uh, as you can see, it says Google Home 2468. So apparently, it gives it Google Home uh, with a number as the device name, and it gives me the setup capability. So I click on setup. And um, unfortunately, I don't have a way to show you the screen on the on the deal, but I'll just read it as I do. So it says Google Home found. It says there are just uh, a few steps to set up, personalize your Google Home. So it gives you this basic screen to start with, and then you click and continue. It starts spinning. A little animation going on there, and then it comes up. It says connecting. The lights turn blue. I hope that's good. I hope that's not the self-destruct sequence. No, no, no. And it says connecting the lights turn blue. That's what the red is for. And then it says, next, it says, uh, your Google Home will play a test sound. This is to confirm you're connected. So on the bottom, there's an option called play test sound. So I'm going to do that. There we go. I heard it. Maybe they didn't pick up on the microphone, but that it was It says, uh, what room is your Google Home in? And they give you an option of rooms. So I guess kitchen, blah, 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 all of that. Uh, master bedroom, bedroom, kitchen. Can you put an office? They don't have an office. They don't? Well, we're going to have it done in the living room. So let's oh, go to the living okay. room. It's a living room. Yeah, let's just go to the living room. Or, or, let's, wait, this is like or, 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 or Yeah, let's do the living room, yeah? Yeah, this is like a stove. Living room? Yes, I said yes. But we also have a living room. We call the, no, we call it main TV. Okay, yeah, so call it the other. Okay, because we also have a Google Cast. Okay. Yeah, it's home isn't set up yet. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. But up on the audio. Okay, so anyway, so now I got it set up. Uh, you know, the, the, it says Google Cast used to stay. Okay, I click and continue. It asked me for the uh, Wi Fi setup now. So it just knows that it found my Wi Fi there. And that's for the Wi Fi, so you have to enter my password, which is eight digits with numbers and letters. Don't ask me how to remember it. 
I don't even know. But anyway, there we go. Here we go. It's spinning, trying to hook up to Wi-Fi, and then this guy is spinning right there too. As you can see visually. So both things are spinning. And and okay, now it's the lights are going using a different wheel. Not sponsored, by the way. Yeah, Google isn't paying us. Yeah, because the comments always love it when you show a product. Come on, come on. And you can see this is my LG G3 phone, which now has Bluetooth completely shown. So do not buy one of these LG units. OK, so now the, the phone says that basically connected to your Wi-Fi and it says continue. So we click continue. OK, now it wants me to sign in. Now it says that you know, it wants me to sign in using my Google account. So that we can uh, we can meet the Google Assistant. So I'm going to click sign in. And it says continue as all of so I'm just going to continue with my name. And it says get personal results. Google Home can use your personal info, blah blah blah, calendar, and so on. So I, I, so it's basically asking me to give it permission to use things like calendar and other services Google provides automatically. So I'm going to give it to the level. It says set Google Home's location, home location. So I'm setting that. It shows exact address and stuff. It says get the most out of home, get email notifications, and when it turns those on. And it says link your music services, uh, then select as a default. So it shows me, basically, it shows me three options to start with, which is Google Music, their own, YouTube uh, Music, and Spotify. But Spotify, it says it requires premium account. So I can link to my regular account because I don't have a premium have a freebie. And YouTube Music, we can get free trial. And it's by default, it's got Google and Play Music, which is what I have. So I'll just leave that. It says free music upgrade. The Google Home comes with six months free of YouTube Red. And uh, you know, they're giving us. Uh, That's cool. Six free months of YouTube, YouTube Red. Red gives you the best music YouTube experience, plus description to music play, blah, blah, blah. And to get started, activate the first 14 days free. After your trial, you'll have the opportunity to extend your free trial for six months. OK. So I'm going to start the free trial. And it's just going to redeem trial for whatever reason. Now it says fetching update. So it's fetching update. Slowly. I'm going to click continue. And if it doesn't let me do it one more time, couldn't redeem trial. So for some reason that doesn't work. So I'm going to click continue, click no thanks. Now it's basically saying so the, the Google Music thing did not work for whatever reason. It took free trial thing. So I'm going to have to find out from somebody why that didn't work. But right now it just says couldn't redeem. And then it says your Google Home is still updating, fetching update. So it's got this uh, spinning arrow going. It shows you a little animation. And on the bottom, you can see the progress bar there. And it's just doing its thing. And the actual Google Home itself, as you can see, doing its little dance with the lights there. All right, let's see how it's going. It says, hang tag, it should be more. It shouldn't be more than another minute or so. Okay. Right. Okay, it says it's installing updates. So first it's a fetching update. Now it says it's installing updates. So I'm assuming the fetching part was downloading, and now it's doing the actual updating. Installing the update. So right now, while we're waiting for this, what are the results so far? All right, so so far I'm going to screencast. Just so people can see. Let's talk about the, oops, uh, let's talk about this a little bit. So right now, our most recent update. Um, Trump, uh, Clinton really hasn't moved much, but Trump has gained a couple more electoral votes, sitting at 129 right now. 
Um, I'd say a good point to start placing bets is around 200, like when one of them reaches 200. But that's just my personal opinion. You guys can, you know, who knows? Some people probably make bets after the first electoral vote is cast. Um, Next, in the U.S. Senate, it is very evenly cut. It is very slightly leaning towards the, Demo the, the Democrats right now, but it could go either way. And as for the House, well, also not even close. Um, as for the House, I'd probably start putting bets around. Okay. Oh, we're back. We're back. Around uh, 150. Okay. Go ahead. Stop. Stop. And so we've got... The little guy there says that update is complete, as you can see right there. And it says, uh, let's get you using, no, let's get you using your new, Google, your Google Home. And update is complete, and they. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And this is what it says now. Okay, Google, how far is the uh, moon? The moon is 238,900 miles from Earth. And on the phone it says answering. So okay, Google, Google how far is the sun? The sun is 92.96 million miles from Earth. Mind if I go for one? No, go for one. Um, Alexa. It's okay, Google, in this case, not Alexa. <laughs> okay, Google. Who's winning the presidential race right now? So far, Trump leads with 129 electoral votes, while Clinton has 97. They need 270 to win. Exactly. Dead on. Good job. Excellent. Okay, All so right, anyway, so, so we click on continue. And it, say, oh, it says, then you can say, it says, okay, Google, tell me about my day. Good evening, Oleg. It is 6.24 p.m. The weather in Kirkland currently is 61 degrees and clear, with a high of 70 degrees. Tomorrow at 9.30 a.m., you have option CO Help Number 11 podcast with Sunbrush. By the way, remember to photo of Mrs. Uno's contraption, third from bottom up, clothes, and overall. Also, don't forget to turn off deliveries. And lastly, don't forget to turn on deliveries. Have a nice day. So basically, here's the latest news. From NPR News Summary at 6 p.m. today. Okay, Google, stop. So that's what you're doing. Then. So it kind of reads your calendar. So we click on continue. It can give you the whole video with the calendar and everything. And it says, okay, now another example is, uh, okay, Google, play some music. All right, here's some music on Google Play Music. I need somebody else, not just anybody else. Oh, you know, I need someone else. Yeah, it is? Of course it is. That's quality. Like quality. Okay, Google, turn it down. Okay, Google. Turn, turn it down. down. Yeah, it doesn't go down. It's like Alexa. Okay, Google, stop the song for Hillary Clinton. Uh, yeah. It says, okay, Google, what can you do? Here are a couple of suggestions. You can say, play some reggae or play Mad Libs. To find out more, you can look at the full list of suggestions in the Google Home app. Okay, and so it tells you basically the finished setup, and then it starts showing you the list of different things that you're doing, kind of similar to how... If you have Alexa or you've seen Alexa, how similar to how it does it. Uh, so you can do different things and it just shows you what you can do on the app. So pretty slick. Anyway, that works out. Basically, that's all there is to it. I mean, they said that they finish it and we're done. We haven't read anything else, but that's pretty much it. Uh, you refer to it. Okay, Google, what's my next appointment? Your next calendar entry is tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. The title is Option, CO Help Number 11 Podcast with some rush. Okay. Um, okay, Google. When is my next hangout with David Amberland? Hmm, I don't recall. Okay, so as you can see, basically it's you know not perfect because it can't 
answer just about any question, but it can answer quite a few questions. And so we'll have to play with it and see. But basically, that's all there is. You can see we got set up in whatever, 20, 15 minutes or so, yeah, about 15 minutes. It took us to get it all set up and working. It doesn't require much effort at all. You just simply plug it in and let it go. In terms of buttons on the device itself, there is a mute button over here. So if I push that. OK, oh, yeah. Google. See, if, uh, this is a yeah, microphone, but microphone, on it. microphone off button. So then if you say, OK, Google, it's not going to do anything. It just goes into mute mode. It's like turning it off, essentially. And the lights just simply flash for. And if you turn it back again, microphone on. OK, the only thing, like Ben was saying so far, is uh, that is not very cool. Oops, uh -oh. I just killed the thing. But anyway, you can take, I took the bottom off just to take a look at it to see if there's any kind of, so on the back inside, you got the speakers here. As you can see, you got the speakers. And then you can see right there, you have the USB, uh, looks like a micro USB connection for something. So I think it's probably for an external speaker. That's probably what it's for. And the, the weird thing is that this external speaker, if you plug it in there, I guess you have to have the wire going down because otherwise it's not going to, there is no hole in the bottom part. There's no holes of any kind you know, on that level. So I think you'll have to go have it go down and do it that way. Yeah. So basically, otherwise, there's nothing there. The volume, oh, that's OK. So the, the bottom part is if you carefully put it on, it just kind of slides into place automatically, screws in, which is kind of cool. So you don't have to put much effort into it to just see it. Pretty That's cool. Really cool. The, the bad part, the bad part is, as you can see, you can easily disconnect it. Number one, and number two, the volume is pretty low in terms of how it talks. So if you, you know, if you're unless you're pretty close to it, you may not hear what what it says, which is kind of on the lousy side. So the the solution, of course, is to hook up to it up to external speaker and then that probably goes away. And so you want to also make sure that the cable is plugged in and somewhere where nobody's going to just simply yank it disconnect it. Yeah. And so when you turn it on, it comes on, the little lights flash in color. Uh, and uh, let's see how long it takes. OK, Google. Hang on while I get connected to Wi-Fi. Yeah, so okay, see, it takes some a little bit of time for it to connect to Wi-Fi. And then it does this little chime and the oh. colors kind of spin. And then once that's done, then you can say, okay, Google, what time are all the polls going to be closed tonight? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that. Okay, so it doesn't know. Uh, when is the election going to be over? I have to say, okay, Google, when is the election going to be over? Sorry, I can't help with that yet. OK. It's weird. Anyways, should we switch to election coverage? Or uh, OK, it? Google, who is winning governor's race in Washington state? Jay Inslee is the governor of Washington. Who's winning? OK, Google, who is winning the election in Washington state? Washington results will be posted soon after polls close at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's on the start start. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. I think it uh, looks like people we invited aren't coming in, so we're not going to wait much more. Uh, let's just wrap it up, and uh, we'll leave you hanging here with what the final results will be. But uh, I think we're going to kick it off or kick it, yeah, turn it off, I meant. Uh, if you have any questions about the uh, Google Home, feel free to send them to me via Google Plus, or send it to Ben. He'll he'll know probably as much. It's not more than I do. And um, that's it. That's that's our unboxing. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. Have a good one. Yeah, check out Ben's uh, YouTube channels. He's doing a bunch of different things with his buddies and himself. Yeah. And stuff. And so, if you want to check out. His stuff. It's uh, under Ben Muskolinski. That's and me. You can also look at my um, Productive Computer Systems channel, which is specifically strictly for uh, tech related stuff. And uh, this one I wanted to put on my own channel because um, even though it's related, we kind of wanted to goof up a little bit and talk about yeah. elections and all that. But on that channel, you'll find nothing but uh, computer, uh, business, internet related stuff. 
And uh, with that said, I think we're done for now. Thank All you, right. Ben. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining us. Take Have care. Have a good one. Goodbye.